Today, I'm going to be building a block spoke house, except I cannot rotate anything I place down. For example, let's say I want to place a bed. Whatever direction the bed is in is the way it has to be placed. In no way, shape, or form can I rotate anything. And this idea was actually inspired by Everlark79. Also, <laughs> what is this profile picture? What is that? Anyway, Everlark said, you should do a house without rotating anything. And in brackets, I love watching you struggle. You know what, Everlark? This house is going to be beautiful. I'm not going to struggle at all today. It's going to be great. <laughs> and as you can see behind me, I've already got a shell of the house. And the style we're going to be doing is coastal. So that being said, let's get started. First, we're going to name this plot. Totally normal house. Nothing weird going on. I think that's a good name. <laughs> okay, now to start building this house. As you can see, we have a floor plan all mapped out. It is actually pretty cute. We've got like the entryway, dining, kitchen, laundry, bathroom one, living room, bedroom, bedroom two, and bathroom two. So it's a pretty big house. And the first thing we're going to do is, well, the garden. The good thing with gardening in Bloxburg is you don't really have to rotate it much. Because like, even if I do rotate these plants, they look the same. My cat is crying at my door. I'm not letting her in. You literally cried like two minutes ago to get out of my room. And now you want to come back in? Let me in, please. I just figured out that you can... Can you stop staring at me? What's your problem? Look away. Yeah, look that way. Anyway, I just figured out that you can actually resize these plants. Like, I did not know this. And apparently, you can resize, like, all these plants. I'm like, am I dumb? Don't answer that. Can we talk about the absurd prices in Bloxburg, by the way? This little blossom cactus is $90. That's, like, 10 Happy Meals. I actually don't know because I haven't had McDonald's since, like, years ago. Okay, you know what? I really want to have a footpath here. I think we're going to do this out of carpet. Oh, no. The only problem is I can't rotate this carpet. I did want to do something like, like that. That would be cheating because that is rotating it. Maybe if I just go like this. Technically, that's not rotating it. It still counts. Okay, kind of works. You know what? It actually doesn't look too bad. Now we just need trees. And because it's a beach house, we're doing exotic trees. I don't like the way these trees are shaped. Ideally, like to have them this angle, but a challenge is a challenge. Why are you crying? We're just going to keep it simple. We're just going to have like two palm trees and this little coconut tree. I actually love coconuts. If you guys haven't had coconuts before, go buy a coconut. Oh, they're so yum. Okay, I think that's the outside of our little home. I didn't struggle too much on the outside, which is good. I think it's when I start working on the inside where it starts to get, um, funky also if you guys want to achieve this like natural lighting what i do use a flint and then if you have the color wheel you go all the way up to the top like this and then you achieve this kind of natural lighting okay so for the entry can you stop staring at me you weirdo i want to keep the entry relatively simple so we just need a welcome out here which is good because i don't have to rotate it and i saw someone in my previous build battle they've done this really cute bench and i kind of want to do the same thing however i don't think it's going to work because everything you place down in Bloxburg is all face down the same way for example it's facing to the left so Oh no, it's facing to the left. Now, if I wanted to be cheeky, I could just like hover my mouse over to the wall and it would automatically rotate. But you know what? That's too easy. And Everlock did say she wants to see me struggle. That's boring. Quit boring, everyone. So you know what, Everlock? We will not put the bench here. Wait, I thought of something genius. What if I put a plain rectangular shelf on the bottom like this with a few pillows? Never mind. The pillows are facing that way. Oh, that looks so stupid. Okay, fine. No pillows. What about a blanket? Uh, never mind. All the blankets are facing this way. What about this one? Okay, that one works. Okay, Yes, I can't rotate things, but I can still resize them. So, ha ha ha. Oh, we could put some storage cubes at the bottom. Never mind. Never mind, never mind. We cannot do that. Guys, this is very difficult. I can still have my hook rack. The good thing is with like paintings and towels, anything that goes on the wall really is fine because I don't have to rotate it. Okay, and one thing to make this a beach house is some plants. As you can see, I made a little plant decal. Very cute. And all you do is make this big. It's a pot underneath. And then boom, you've got a little custom made plant. You know how many of you guys have asked me for a coastal house in Bloxburg. You want to know how many? 30,000. 30,000? I really want to have a floor lamp here, but the thing is, this, that would look so dumb. I want to have this in the corner right here, but I can't. It's fine. You know what? We're just going to use this modern lamp instead. And you know what? It looks just as good to me, so who cares? So if we walk back here, this is kind of like the dining table. I like the fact that there's like arch openings here. This is where it starts to get tricky because the carpet is facing this way. But you know what? It's fine because with our little friend advanced placement, we can fix anything. Let's be friends. Best friends. So we just place two carpets like that. And boom. Who's struggling now? Everlock. Oh, this is kind of cute. Never mind. Oh, we need something that will fit long ways. I guess we can fit a few of these cube dining tables. We'll just have to place like three of them. See? Boom shakalaka. Ricky dicky. Do dog rhymes. Boom shakalaka. 
Boom shaka. Okay, chairs. Oh no, I can't rotate this. Oh wait, if I kind of like hover my mouse over the table, the chairs like automatically go into the table. So is that cheating? Maybe. Oh no, <laughs> I wanted to have a long carpet along the tiny table, but I can't. I'm trying to figure out a way I can kind of fix this problem. What if I make it small? That's too wide though. There is a solution, Alaska. Find the solution. You know, I don't care. We're using a basic shape. The thinnest layer of the earth? Sorry? No. See, I wanted to do something like this for the dining table. And I think the only way to achieve this without rotating anything is by adding a basic shape. And then finally a little vase on the top. I just tried to type up plant and I just typed pasta. Um, right. Okay. I don't know if I get the hype over like coastal houses. I think it's because I see them like every single day. Like if I want to see a coastal house, I would just go down to the beach and there'll be like 10 coastal houses. Hey, get off my laptop. Get off my laptop. Samira, no. And I think that is our very successful dining room. So now moving on to the kitchen. So far, guys, I haven't been struggling. I don't want to jinx it, but I think it's going good so far. Let's just hope the counters are faced the right way. Oh no, they're not. I wanted to put the counters like up against this window here. I wanted to do something like this, but um, we're gonna have to think outside the box today because this is the only way I can place the counters. You know what I'm not excited about? Doing the living room. Okay, this bit looks good. It's um, it's the fact that we still need an oven. And if you didn't know, the ovens are faced this way. <laughs> Actually, this is easy. Okay, I can put an oven in here. However, we still need a stove. I'm pretty sure they have stove tops, which is amazing because then I can just place it there like that. I used to hate doing kitchens in Blocksburg, but you know, so far I actually like it. It's crazy how much I've like improved as a builder compared to like a year ago. The good thing about these oak shelves is that they don't require me to rotate them. The bad thing about not rotating anything is the fact that this looks like an Ikea showroom. Like everything is just too still, it's scaring me. Oh, the toaster is facing the wrong way. No. Oh, this is actually ruining my OCD. Why does it have to be faced that way? That is so stupid. Even though the actual button of the toaster is on the opposite side. You know what? No, I'm getting rid of it. We don't need a toaster, who cares? All right, the base of the kitchen looks good. We still need an island bench though. The island benches are also faced the wrong way. Fine, we're just gonna use a basic counter. And instead of placing a chair, we're just gonna place a stool, maybe a little line bowl because we love lime limes <laughs> i love them so now we have the lounge room which is in this section i think a nice fireplace right here would look mm, chef's kiss so we're gonna place this traditional no no don't do this to me the fireplace is facing this way which means i can't put it up against the wall all right, then I guess we're gonna have to place it up against this wall. It's honestly fine because then we can place more windows here. We just need a carpet and a lounge. Oh <gasps> no! Oh yeah, let's sit on the lounge while the, uh, the TV and fireplace are facing that way. I thought of something. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do a custom made lounge. Is it cheating? No, it could be a genius. And then if we get a smooth cube and place this at the back of the lounge, I mean, technically we have a little custom made lounge. This looks ridiculous. Look at the bottom bit. <laughs> Look at all the little legs. That just looks absolutely ridiculous, but you know what? We're using it. Peter, what are you doing? And I don't even think I can place pillows because they're not facing the right way and it's bothering me. But I guess maybe I can add a few of these. Guys, you do not understand how much it is bothering me not being able to rotate anything. Everything is just facing the wrong way and I hate it. Honestly, who even cares? Like who even needs a normal lounge these days? You know? This is reminding me of like a Brookhaven house. Berry Avenue vibes. The thing with Berry Avenue and Brookhaven is that the houses all look the same. You know when you walk into a showroom and everything is just like so clean? That's what they kind of remind me of. And I think the lounge room actually turned out pretty cool. Cute. So now we can move on to the bathroom. Let's just hope the bath is facing the right way. It is not. No. <laughs> it's fine. We're not going to add a bath in this bathroom. So I reckon we're just going to have a shower. Well, we can even have a few like surfboard decals. I've actually never been surfing. Can you believe that? I live like one minute from the beach and I've never been surfing. Even the soap is facing to the left. Like, that doesn't even make sense. Like, even the shampoo. Oh, it's fine. We're just gonna have the shampoo on the floor. This way it can face the right way. I just realized the counters in the sinks, they are facing this way. Well, that means the only way I can place the counter is up against this wall. You know what? I don't hate it. We still need to add the toilet though. And I don't know what way the toilet is facing. I think to the left as well. Let's see. Oh, great. It's facing to the left. You're telling me I can't rotate this toilet and put it right here? Like, this doesn't even make sense. I mean, it's a bathroom. We need a toilet. I guess we're just gonna have to put it here. It's gonna look stupid, but we have nowhere else to put it. It's fine. It's not fine. I'm not happy about this. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put a cube here. 
See, I mean, does it make sense? Not really, but you know what? It works. And personally, I think that looks amazing. Now all we need to do is the laundry room. I was gonna say laundry rooms are simple, but no, they are not because the sink is facing this way. Can I not place anything along this wall? This is so, ugh. I feel like we need a cabinet. And if we go into household, we can just sneakily put that inside. However, we still have a massive section along here. It's good thing with oak shelves is you do not have to rotate them. So then we can have a few rolled towels. I hate the fact that we don't have a sink though, so I may move these laundry baskets over there. Okay, I think that works for the laundry room. The next room we have is the master bedroom. However, we need to figure out what way the bed is facing. And it's facing this way, of course it is. It's fine, we can have it up against the window. I personally love my bed up against the window. I think it's so cozy. I actually used to have my bed up against my window. The only problem was I hated the fact that I had to like crawl out of bed every morning. Oh, this lighting, calm down. If I wanted to get out of bed, I'd have to like crawl my way out and it was so frustrating. The blankets are facing the right way. I love me some nice chunky blankets. Not now though, it's about to become summer. So do you guys remember back in the day when I used to hate placing pillows? One thing that would make, oh, I just meant to rotate that carpet. Did you see that? What way is the traditional closet facing? Where am I even gonna put this? At the end of our bed? It would just make this section nice and cozy. Haha, -ha, innovative thinking. Like we'll just copy these shelves from the laundry room. And then on this wall, we have a nice, a fancy mirror. Now we just need our laptop, which is facing the wrong way. Okay, it's that, uh, again, facing the wrong way. All right, and I think that is our master bedroom all complete. Cool thing with the master bedroom is that it also leads into our little ensuite back here. Yes, I know, we get our own ensuite. Also, what's the roof doing, babes? I feel like people need to add more sky roofs to their houses. Okay, what way is the bathtub facing? Thank God it is facing this way. Oh my God. We're gonna go extra, extra. We're gonna put a waterfall on top of the bathtub and then a modern shower set. Low key, I would take the longer shower right here. Oh, we can't forget curtains for some privacy. Privacy. Do you guys say privacy or privacy? Tell me that doesn't look so vibey right now. I want to make this look even better. A chandelier up the top. Just entered heaven. That's how bright that was. However, we still need the toilet. Oh no, we need the toilet and the toilet's facing to the left. <laughs> We're just going to place the toilet here. If you want to do your business, you can just face the wall. Okay, sink. Again, facing the wrong way. Oh, why did I not think about this? Oh, we can't forget toilet paper. Can you imagine? I love how we got a beautiful bathtub and then we just turn around just like a toilet in the corner and a sink in the middle of the bathroom. Okay, the last room we have is the nursery. I know, me adding a nursery? Who would have thought? I feel like I have a mental blank every single time I do a nursery. It's like, what do you need in here? This creepy banana. I'm, oh, thankfully the clothes are facing this way. So should we give my child like their own plasma TV? Wait, if my name's Alaska, maybe I should name my son Albuquerque. Can you imagine? Guys, this is my son, Albuquerque, New Mexico. All right, and I think that is the nursery all complete and comes to a total of $129,000. All right, the good thing about this house is you can't really tell that like I didn't rotate anything at the front. So then when you come inside, we then have the the entryway. Anyway, this is the entryway. Like there's just a random blanket because I couldn't actually add a bench because that required me to rotate it. And then coming back here, I think this is my favorite bit, honestly. It's the dining room. Like tell me this doesn't look like I just want to sit down here, have a cup of OJ and call it a day. And then opposite of the dining table, we've got the kitchen. I was scared about how the kitchen was going to turn out just because literally everything was facing to the left. So I'm like, how am I going to make the island benches work? But batting basic counters actually worked in my favor. Then over here, we have the lounge room. Oh my gosh. I don't even know if this is going to work. Can I actually sit? Okay. We have Bob Ross and Gordon Ramsay, my two fathers actually. Bob Ross. Oh, I love him. You don't understand my love for Bob Ross. I could just, his paintings are just, okay. Well, right, stop getting distracted. Get on with the video. Anyway, the bathroom. Okay. Listen, listen. Bathroom turned out good, except for the toilet because the toilet was facing this way. Couldn't rotate it. So I added a wall here and then a painting and a stool. And I mean, it actually doesn't look too bad, surprisingly. And then over here, we have the laundry room. Not me though, because I wear the same outfit every day. So now moving on to the bedrooms. First, we have the nursery. The nursery is actually so cute. I love this. When I was doing the nursery, right, I couldn't have the changing station right next to the bed because that is gross. Also, can we just talk about how cute these decals are? And then we've got my bedroom. I think this is definitely like the most beachy coastal bedroom that I've ever done in my life. And tell me this doesn't look something out of Berry Avenue right now. Like I would be more than happy to sit here and watch TV all day. <laughs> and going through this door, we have the ensuite. The ensuite, I think is the most questionable room in this house. See, first off, this section looks absolutely stunning. Like this is the most elegant section of the bathroom. And then we move on to over here. So yeah, that was me building a Bloxburg house without rotating anything. There was some some rooms that turned out really good and then some rooms that did not. However, I don't hate the house, weirdly enough. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!